Hi, I'm John DeSanto. Uh, I am the 845 Life columnist for the Times Herald Record newspaper. Been doing it for about four years now, and um, uh, I, I enjoy it a lot. It's interesting. At the beginning, I found my subjects because I would get in a car and drive around, actually uh, uh, accost people uh, working in fields, doing their jobs, and I'd sort of run across up with a woman and explain what I was doing. Uh, and, uh, and they'd either say yes or no. And more people said yes than actually would have guessed. Um, uh, these days, more, uh, my, my email's at the bottom of every column, and these days more people contact me. I would say from each column that I write, two or three people send me emails suggesting different people. And so I don't have to actually go out and chase people down anymore they sort of come to me, which is, which is fun. People have refused. It uh, hasn't happened a lot, but uh, some people just don't want to go uh, uh, in the newspaper or online, I think, is, is a bigger problem. Uh, they don't actually say it that way, but, but um, they will say, I, I value my privacy and thank you for, for contacting me, but I'd rather not do this. That happens usually when someone else has suggested a friend and then not cleared it with them beforehand. But another question I think would be, do I ever say no to, to someone? And that happens on occasion. I try to keep the column to individuals, to interesting individuals, and keep it away from um, corporations or businesses. Uh, although I've broken that rule at times when, when there's a really small business, like one person or two people, and uh, they're doing something unique, uh, like the woman who, uh, who made um, uh, artwork out of, out of ho horseshoes. She was doing that in her garage and um, doing it by herself. And so that, although that's technically a business, uh, I, I thought that uh, she was interesting enough to, uh, to pursue that. The interviews usually last about 60 minutes of me sitting at a table, talking to the person, scribbling madly on a, uh, on a uh, yellow legal pad. I'm, I'm old school, I don't, I don't record these things. Um, and so it's 60 minutes of, of the interview process, uh, 15 minutes of doing video, and 15 minutes of doing still photos, and then, then I'm gone. So I tell people a budget about 90 minutes for this. Um, I never usually know which way the interview is going to go when I, when I first sit down with someone. And I, I don't like research them beforehand. We just sort of sit and talk and have a conversation. And it becomes obvious to me, or maybe sometimes it doesn't, uh, but at, at some point it, it, I think it occurs that uh, what the angle should be, what's interesting. And that takes a while to pull out of people sometimes. So 60 minutes is, uh, is about right. I, I try to keep my notes to about six pages uh, when I'm interviewing someone because I know that equates to 12 to 14 inches of text in the newspaper. Um, anything more than that, I'm, th I end up throwing stuff out. And um, I think at first, when I first started doing this, I probably took 10, 12 pages of notes and a lot of stuff got left out. And nowadays I, I'm a little bit better at keeping it to six or seven pages of notes. And, um, and go from there. The page is designed, it's a full page, but it's designed to have 12 inches of, of text uh, and the rest photos, so it works out to about one-third text and two-thirds photos. It's gotten quicker. I, writing the column probably, I go home that night usually, I think about my lead, um, the first uh, paragraph or two, uh, while I'm driving home, while I'm kicking around, but usually I sit down at night around seven or eight o'clock after dinner and start writing. It takes about an hour, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, um, but once I get the lead down, it pretty much flows. And I think one of the strengths of the column is I, I, um, I, allow, I quote people a lot, and I let them tell the story rather than me tell the story. And so then it becomes just a matter of me trying to put the quotes in the right order so that we have a coherent story. And so it, uh, it goes pretty quickly, actually. Some of the most memorable people were animals. Um, this year, there was Mortimer, early in uh, 2017, there was Mortimer the Duck, who was Mark, um, Mark West's sidekick on Wall Radio. I knew that uh, the duck actually wasn't gonna speak. 
So, and Mark was going to do all the speaking for him. And, but it was interesting because Mark said, you know, he gets, he gets a lot of email and mail from people. He's rather famous. I thought that was interesting. You know, the duck quacked a couple of times, but I, I didn't quote him on that. Um, one of the other ones was uh, Walter the Arson Sniffing do Dog, which was a, a new um, uh, uh, officer. He's actually an officer with the Orange County Sheriff's Department. And uh, they had been looking to get an arson sniffing dog for quite some time. And when they got one, um, the sheriff reached out to me and asked if I'd come by. And I said, yeah, I think this sounds interesting. Of course, Walter didn't speak much. Um, he barked a lot. Um, he sniffed me a lot. Uh, but uh, he's an arson sniffing dog, so what do you expect? Um, but uh, that was an interesting interview because Dave Hoovler sat in on that. And um, a couple other people, including the dog's handler, Justin Warden, and um, when we went outside to do photos, uh, the, um, the sheriff pulled me aside and said, the interesting thing is that this dog was, was destined for no place, and now he's going to be a rock star. And I, that ended up being, being a, a, an important part of that interview. Some of the interesting quotes actually happen when I'm not sitting at the table. When I get people away and we're doing the photos and all of a sudden they'll say something and I go, ah! My email, they want, people want to reach out to me. Um, my email is at the bottom of the, of the column. Uh, it's jjdesanto at gmail.com. Um, and I've been getting lots of email from people, two or three from, for each column. Um, and uh, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Sometimes they're just looking for publicity for their company. But down the bottom, send me an email, 